Welcome to the Flow Builder. To create a flow, let's start by connecting your first application connection. For this example, we'll use NetSuite. To get started, click on Add Source, and from the list, select NetSuite. Select Export Records from Source Application. For the connection, let's create a new one by clicking on the plus icon here. Start by typing a name for your connection. For authentication type, use our recommended automatic token-based authentication. Enter your account ID next. You can follow the instructions mentioned on this tooltip to locate your account ID in NetSuite. Click on Save and Authorize. You'll then be prompted to log into your NetSuite account to verify your identity. And that's it. Your connection should now be live and ready to go. Next, we'll go into the NetSuite export. Let's give this export a name. Export NetSuite Sales Orders. We can see our connection here. I've created a save search in NetSuite to search for what fields I want. And we are going to want to group rows. And for our export type, we are going to use a delta, which only exports data that has been changed since our date last modified. Now let's preview the data, and if everything looks correct, we can save and close the export. For our import to Slack, we will select add destination slash lookup. Next, let's type in Slack and select import records into destination application. For our connection, we will select Slack test connection. Lastly, we don't want to use an existing import, so let's hit next and start editing the import. Next, let's give this import a name. We'll name it import Slack chats. And from here, we want to select chat as the API name and chat.postmessage as the API endpoint. Since there is nothing to preview with the Slack chat, we can save and close this import. Before we start running the flow, we need to configure the import mapping. Since it is a Slack connection, these two mappings are necessary, the channel and the text. For the channel, I put in my personal Slack channel ID, but can be any channel you have access to. For the text, I input in the date, amount, and status of the sales order. And once you save and close this, you are ready to run the flow.